guys, um, I just thought I'd make a little video of him recording. I usually do a sound test faithfully, and I didn't. Um, I saw, I just saw a video, and I really liked the video. It was about La Santissima, but, and it was about, like, going back and seeing stuff. And it reminded me of something. Um, Loki is said to be big on family, but this is actually not going to be too much about Loki. It's going to be um, about accepting the gods that choose you. Because I know sometimes that can be, like, really hard to do. Because uh, uh, I'm one of those people that I believe, and it's okay if you disagree, that I believe that the gods choose us, we don't get to choose them. You can really, really like a god and really be into a god, but, you know, you'll go out and you'll buy the statue and you'll do the ritual and they'll be just like, meh. They, they won't want to work with you. It's, you know, it's nothing personal. They just, their energy and your energy just aren't going to jive. And, um, ever since I was a little girl, I, and I've told this story in an article, and I would see these, um, spirits. I thought they were, you know, dead people. I thought I was seeing ghosts. And I thought it was normal, because my mom was, like, into spirituality and that. She was like, they're spirits, and... It, it, it was a bit unusual that they were um, African-American, but I was like, okay. Because there were just, there was not a large African-American population in the area. But it was like, you know, when you're a little kid, you're just like, eh, okay, whatever. And obviously they weren't ghosts. They're, they're, I live far enough into Pennsylvania, at least in this part, in this farming community, as far as I know, historically speaking, thank the gods, there was never slavery in this area. Now, there are a lot of twisted, hateful people, but as far as I know, there was never slavery. No, that's, that's me saying as far as I know. Like, I don't know everything, obviously. And, um, so... There would be these spirits, and they would talk to me, and everything else, and, like, you know, time goes on. Fast forward to, like, I'm working with a Haitian teacher and everything. I'm working with a mambo online, and she, like, has me working with other hugans and that. And then, as she starts hearing some of this stuff, and she starts hearing about these spirits being around in my childhood and that, and she hears how some of them behave and that. Suddenly, she decides that there are two kinds of food on. There is Haitian, and there is New Orleans. And I am one of those Nolans rats. Now, the funny thing is, she's as American as I am. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, where, where she's, I understand Haitian pride, I do, but where she's getting the, um, I was like this, basically she told me I was a New Orleans alley rat to go back to New Orleans and take my fear filthy uh, spirits with me. Uh, th so, according to her cosmology, there is the voodoo of Haiti and those proper spirits, and then there's New Orleans and the filthy inferior spirits of New Orleans. And I know everybody from New Orleans is like, where is this mamba? I'm going to kill her. <laughs> You'll probably find her. She got a big mouth. She ain't hard to find. And, you know, for a while that devastated me because, um, you know, if you're trained by anyone from Haiti or that, like, made um, Mambo in Haiti, if they legitimately made it, or, like, people that have had Haitian training, they do have that sense of superiority, and you can't blame them, giving Haiti's history. But, you know, they shouldn't be knocking um, Nolans either, okay? So, you know... Um, that was something to deal with. And one of the things is, I'm telling you this, is because um, from the very start, these spirits told me that, you know, we're, we're your family. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what I, we look like. We're your family. And I'm like, okay. Why do I not know about this side of the family? Like, I legitimately, you know, as a very young girl, remember, I thought they were ghosts. I'm like, why don't I know about this side of the family? And they're like, well, we're the special side of family. <laughs> and, um, you know, you will get that. You will get these, uh, whether you want to say spirits, gods, angels, whatever you feel comfortable calling your higher powers, um, from other cultures. And sometimes, especially, it's like from cultures where there will be a lot of people that will say, you have no right to be here. And the interesting thing is, I have more white people tell me that than I've had any 
what else? It's usually white people run up to me. Well, one, I'm Italian, so technically I'm not white. <laughs> yeah, technically, according to some people, I'm not white. And I'm like, one, I don't care anyways. I'm like, color is on people. It's like color on cats. It's like, it's really interesting. But it's like a coat pattern. It's neat and it's pretty and everything. But I don't think it should define who you are. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, like I'll say about being Italian or German, but I know better that I can't say genetically I get away with this crap because I'm Italian or German. No. Um, and so I had to work at one point. It's, it's, I was taught it was respectful and I had never done it, never done it, never done it um, to work with the evil. And what I finally did, I was like rage crying for like an hour. I mean, um, if you don't know who they are, they are, they they were proud enough to come off the ships and they they basically marched into the water and they all, they all died. They did not keep like a single Evo for a slave. They they just they weren't doing it. They said you you might have caught us, you you might have had us, but you're you're not going to work us like slaves. So they you know they all marched off the ships and they died. Or, you know, they got off the ships however they could. And so, you know, they, they knew they couldn't defeat them. They had that strong spirit. And um, during the time that you go to work with them, however you set up your ritual, everyone will have a different experience. But for me, it was like, um, I didn't want to work with them because I thought it wasn't my place. I'm like, well, I don't have any traditional historical or blood that I know of, I mean, I need to get one of those DNA tests sometime, and we all do, like, if you go back far enough, you'll, everybody has, you know, blood from Africa somewhere, but, um, like, I just never felt comfortable working with them, and then when I finally did, they were, you know, they were gracious, and they were kind, and they were like, why are you crying, and I'm like, I'm crying because of what happened to you, and they're like, but it's over now, and I'm like, but I'm still gonna cry, and, and because they knew I had already learned the lesson. I'd, I'd learned from the ground up. Thankfully, my mother was like horrified with slavery and she was horrified with people being treated like that. And Which, well, she should be. No one should ever be put in chains and made to do what someone else does. That's he wants them to do. That's monstrous. I don't care what color you are or where you come from. Nobody should be treated that way. Um, and when they were being so kind to me and so gracious because they could see I was just sitting there. I was just sitting there absolutely rage crying and I was like so sorry. And they're like, what are you sorry for? You didn't do this. And uh, I realized that, you know, we can let a lot of other people put guilt on us that we we don't have to carry. And this is probably going to make a lot of people mad, but you don't have to carry the guilt of your ancestors and you don't have to carry the guilt of an entire race whatever race you perceive yourself of coming from you didn't do x y and z and that's what you have to remember if you did do x y and z you know rectify that crap whatever way you can but if you didn't do it um you shouldn't drag it around like um wearing sackcloth and ashes because that usually hinders you and usually like i can tell you from experience usually it makes the uh, spirits that are trying to contact you it usually makes them angry and frustrated especially oku oh my god don't don't ever play the race card with oku don't ever try that don't try i can't work with you because of x y and c he he will he will just go off like the fourth of july you you do not want to see that <laughs> That man loses temper. It, 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 I, I can't fix stupid along with some explicatives and waving the machete in your face. And, um, yeah. Um, not having fun times if you ever try to get out of it. Because you have to remember, especially, like, I'm, I'm using the spirits as an example. You are blood to them. You are their family. Um, and that isn't them being nice. It isn't them adopting you. That isn't them being stupid. Uh, yeah, don't call them stupid, but you know what I mean. That is, uh, you are family. 
they are yours. They chose you for whatever reason. Why they chose you, I can't tell you. Um, I kept trying to get them to go away for years, and they wouldn't go. I'm like, you have to go. You you seriously have to go. I can't work with you. Don't you understand? They're like, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> We've been with you since you were tiny, before you knew what we were, and you liked us back in, and you worked with us, and you loved us, and now suddenly you know what we are, and you know there are people that have... Uh, problem with us being here and like suddenly you're pushing us away no that's 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 not going to happen so you know you have to sometimes do that and i know it isn't just a um food on thing i know it goes for everything um there isn't a religious path in the world that other people don't feel that they should have exclusive rights to it goes for heathenry it goes for um working with the norse gods it goes for um working with La Santa, it goes for, um, if you get into, um, Welsh or Irish or any other kind of, like, uh, cultural witchcraft, um, there are some people that figure if you don't have it in the blood or you weren't born in the soil, how dare you? And, uh, I don't agree with that. I respect that they feel that way, but I don't think they have the right to, um, take it away from you, especially, you know, it's actually dangerous to try to fight a spirit or a god or angel or whatever you call them that's pursuing you because they want this relationship and if uh you're not you know your only rationale is i can't work with you because x y and z said so and it's forbidden they're they're not going to have none of that um they're going to come after you <laughs> it's like they will track you down like a guide a missile yeah don't i make voodoo so fun and exciting but yeah um I just wanted to get that out there because I think it limits us and we can carry that baggage around. We can carry it from one culture, one religion into another. And there's way too many people, especially now, like stuff so charged now. And everybody's like, everyone has to stay in their own corner and this with this and that with that. And I'm like, that is not how this country was built. It's like we used to be a melting pot until everybody decided that was offensive and now we're like the mixed salad. And it's like, dude, when we were in the melting pot, it meant like we all came together and we all blended together and we all added everything together and we became one and we became strong. It didn't mean that you lost your identity. It didn't mean, you know, this happened or that happened or whatever everybody still has their identity the italians in my um family act more italian than uh italians i've seen uh for italy on youtube or on tv or whatever or have met in person so <laughs> you know what i mean it's like they're they're almost like a character of being italian but uh, you know it's like you don't lose that even if you all come together and combine so um I don't know. I just felt like having to get that out there. And I know that's probably going to rub a lot of people the wrong way. But that's just, you know, that's just my personal view. You don't have to agree with me. But, like, I apply that to um, working with Loki, too. I don't care who people are or where they come from. I don't care if you were born on Mars and you just flew in. If he comes to you, work with him. Um, any spirit or God that comes to you, work with them. Don't don't beat yourself up about where they came from or what happened between the cultures or stuff like that you can't fix that crap uh you're a good person if you want to and you care enough to want to but you can't fix it honey um we all want to we all want to or we wouldn't all get upset about it and have those times where we're like well i can't work with you because of but that's what we have to remember. We can't we can't change the past as much as we want to, and we can't take on everything that was done wrong because we didn't sh sanction those bad actions. Those those aren't your bad actions. Those aren't our bad actions. So you know, stop carrying them around. Stop saying. Uh, I have to carry this around for the rest of my life. No, you, especially if you vehemently oppose something, why would you carry the guilt around for it? It's like, if you vehemently oppose X, don't carry the guilt around with it for forever because you never would do that to someone. You know you wouldn't. You know if you were back in that time, you would be derailing X. So, you know, please know that the spirits know you better than human beings and human beings don't get to pass judgment on you. And just work with whoever calls you. Um, and, and 
it's okay if people attack you. Um, no matter who you're going to work with, you're probably going to get attacked sooner or later by somebody that's going to say, this is mine, this is not yours because of X, Y, Z. Fine. Um, let the baby have their bottle, tell them that's okay, whatever, walk away, don't engage. Um, so I hope you guys have liked it, and it was just really important for me to make that, because, like, my spirits are like my family to me, and I feel closer and I feel more of an ancestral connection to a lot of the African spirits I met than I do to, um, my blood family. In fact, my blood family, the ancestors there, they're like, they got better things to do. They want nothing to do with me. But the African spirits have always been there for me. And maybe that's why my ancestors wouldn't co uh, come through, because a lot of them are racist. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I did not come from the best family. But hey, the, the spirits aren't holding it against me. So I'm like, fine, you don't want to work with me. I'm going to go work with who will work with me. And this is who will work with me. And this is who loves me and supports me and takes me in. Even if I'm kind of pill to be in the family. <laughs> Um, yeah, so just love the gods you're with. Don't worry about where they come from. It doesn't matter if they're from China. It doesn't matter if whatever. And it, you know, it doesn't matter what happened between your country and their country or cultures and cultures or races and races. All that's kind of like window dressing because we have to remember that we're more than these bodies that we're born into we're you know we're the soul or the essence or the spirit or the god shard or whatever you see yourself as we're that we're not this i'm not the thing you're looking at the body you're looking at is what i'm controlling until you know it's time to move on until my next part of the journey and then what is actually me will be gone. Uh, the body will just be dead somewhere. <laughs> and yeah, if you work with Lucenta, you find that funny. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And I, I hope that helps some of you because um, I just, I've never liked to see intolerance and bigotry in um, spirituality or religion or whatever you like to call it because... Um, it hurts so many people and it hurts so many people's relationships with their spirits because when you're genuinely cold, you're genuinely cold. Um, I know it's hard to ignore those people, but remember they don't speak for anyone. And so if you want to transfer all that to Loki, please do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.